How to build a website for your business from scratch quick and easy. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can build a website for your business within 10 minutes. So let's get into it. Now, the platform that we are using today is Wix and all you need to do to get started on Wix is to register your account via your email address and then you can begin creating your website. Now, there are multiple other platforms like you have Bluehost, you have GoDaddy, you have MailChimp. There are many other website building platforms, but for a beginner who is not very known to web building, then using Wix will be a easier option for you because of their simple drag and drop editors so to get started all you have to do is click on create new site now we will begin creating our Wix website for our business now first off you're going to decide the Wix editor you want to choose you're just going to choose Wix the editor X is a more comprehensive version of Wix that is more so suited for professionals it allows a lot more customization but it is going to be inefficient if you are not very familiar with it so before you get started Wix will ask you what kind of website you are creating let's say we are going to create a online store and then you're just going to click on next over here then you're going to enter the store name. Now you can change this later on, but I'm just going to input the store name. I'm going to make it Skull Scrunchies. And then I'm just going to click on next over here. Now they're just going to show you a bunch of different widgets that you might want to add to your website. And you can choose whichever ones you want, or you can just skip this and then add them later on. It's totally up to you. And then they will ask you how you want to create your website. So you can either choose a template and edit that template to build your website, or you can also use the Wix ADI to create a website for you. The Wix ADI is basically artificial intelligence where you answer a few questions and then Wix builds the template according to your answers and then you can customize that further. But I would recommend just begin with a template and from here you can even choose a simple layout. So you can see there are so many amazing online store templates that you can choose from but if you don't want to get started with a template that is you know pre-existing then you can even click on blank templates over here and you can click on start from scratch or these minimal layout templates as well for you to build your website now we're just going to go into the store section and you can see there are so many different options even within the e-commerce section you have fashion clothing jewelry and accessories so let's say i want to go into jewelry and accessories and i'm going to choose a template from here so i want to continue with this template over here and i'm just going to click on edit over here and then i can begin editing this template so wix will load this template and then i can begin editing it now you can see over here my template has been loaded this is the wix website editor you can see on the left you have this little toolbar where you can add different things to the website template you can add sections to the website template you can monitor the menus and pages you have you have your site design you have applications you can integrate as well as media now to get started first i would recommend you click on the top left over here where you have your pages and then you can see the existing page Pages that exist on the website template and then you can choose which ones you want to keep or remove so for that you can just click on menus and pages and then you can see this is the home page we are on then you have a shop page and I want to remove the kids page so on the shop page I want to make it different I want to add different pages and I want to make this a scrunchy store so it will definitely be different so I'm just going to keep that and then you have sign up and login so maybe i don't want a member sign up form or maybe i don't want that so you can choose to create that or not and then you have members pages so you can choose to delete members pages so people can choose to sign up or if you just want guest users in your website now the site menu for now is pretty clear it's very simple and easy to navigate through and i will begin editing my website so i'm just going to go on to the home page which is the site page and i'm just going to go on to the site page and i'm going to go to the home page now i'm just going to click on the top section over here i'm going to double click on the top logo section and you can choose to upload a image as well or just change the text now once i've added my text i'm just going to expand the text block over here like this once I have expanded the text block, I'm just going to drag this a little, so like so. I just want it to fit 
rather in the center of the screen like so so now this is centered now what i'm going to do is i'm going to adjust this header and what you can just do is just click on this to drag and drop the header height however much you might want to make it like this like so now below that we have the second text block now you can choose to remove a text block if you want you can just remove the text and the block shall be removed and then you can move the buttons as well now let's say that i just want to keep the shop now button or maybe i want to change the overall layout so let's say i'm just going to click on over here and what you can do to remove an entire section let's say i want to remove the most popular section i'm just going to select the section and then on the right side of my screen i have this section so i have the three dots you're going to click on the three dots and then you're going to click on delete over here and just click on delete like so and then you can remove any of the pre-existing sections in the template that you might not want now below that we have a simple footer now what we can do in this basic section is that you can just click on it you can click on change strip background you can click on image and then upload your own image or select any royalty free image from online as well and then i can just search in the media from wix section you can search on shutterstock on splash or you can use a platform like Bekteezy to find royalty free images now i'm just going to take this image from bekteezy you can download it for free like so and then upload it onto wix and then in this way you're just going to use their simple editor to edit your website and now i'm waiting for the image to be uploaded onto wix over here now i'm just going to select this image and click on change background and i'm just going to use this image as my background for this section and in this way you can customize your wix template now after that if you're wondering how do you add your products you're not going to add your products from here we're just going to click on publish over here we're going to add publish and continue so we're just going to publish our website and i'm going to show you where you add your products from so that is going to be the back end and now you can see our website has been created we can click on view site this is what our website is currently looking like it looks pretty good now what you're going to do is that you're going to go into your wix homepage. You're going to go back into your home page and then you're just going to click on your site settings so your site editor and then we're just going to click on manage it this will open up select site and then you will open up you know the management section of your website which is the back end of your website now from here what you're just going to do is you can click on store products on the left side of your screen and then from here you can begin adding your store products you can begin creating categorization tags these are just some sample products but to add a new product you just need to click on new product on the top right over here and click on physical product because we're setting physical items and then you can add images videos and all of the information about the product so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video